Hello guys, uh, welcome to Ben's Vlog. So for today's video, we have again another 1,250 uh, kV and now we are uh, preparing for uh, uh, the preparations that uh, we need to do and uh, uh, we just added in the system th uh, this uh, generator so at least uh, we are ready for uh, doing the tests and uh, I will prepare the, the rest of uh, things also and then uh, I will double check what are the options of this generator and I will show you outside also so let's go outside so you can see what are the options and we will test it if it is um, working and uh, whatever the um, options that we need to do and uh, additional um, configurations and additional installations uh, we're going to check that one so okay let's go now so we can start prepared for the rest of it huh no if uh... no no the side bro no need no need that end What happened? That is air. Ah. Hello guys, uh, this is our 1200 kVA and I will show you um, this is uh, 
the module that we are using we have here the 7320 and we have the options of um, local anti-heater we have the DC ammeter and we have here you know the anti condition heater water jacket heater and the voltage potentiometer and if we look inside here is our connections and here is our uh, fuses for our safety and here is our expansion relay module we have here the two relay for our fuel and our uh, shunt trip so here is our breaker and we are using the EBV uh, this one is Emax E2 and here is our connections for our um, shunt and we have the auxiliary connections for our uh, output so if it is closing and opening the breaker, it give uh, feedback for our uh, output. So here is our connections down here. So this is the bus bar we are using. So we have the color coding for that. So over here, I will show you the options. We have the um, two pieces um, water jacket heater. And here is the Pandaros and here is our... Uh, exhaust uh, temperature uh, sensor so if you look around we have here the fuel switch this is our fuel switch and here is our other um, what we call the water jacket heater so this one is already uh, half oil and coolant and ready for uh, trunk and start so here is our inside for the connections here is our line and here is our neutral so this side is our ct connections and i will open it for you the avr so we can config the uh, potentiometer so this one is done also the configurations and we're waiting for the uh, muffler to uh, install so we have to open the yeah, but this one is too tight this one is uh, detected properly so I use the impact tools because they type it uh, hardly. So I cannot remove by the green. Huh? No, this is that the one I told you. That one, I, the same the line here. No, you push it more. No one because one thousand still uh, they're making ah uh, one thousand uh, yeah. So here is our VR here, and we have a voltage potentiometer. So we need to uh, configure this one. Okay, so since we have the potentiometer for this one or voltage potentiometer, so we need to do the configurations for uh, this uh, AVR. So this one is R350. So I'm going to connect this uh, AVR from here. the positions of our um, NF link so we can have uh, communications to our AVR if you are doing a uh, configurations for this type of AVR so if you're doing the uh, configuration for this, uh, make sure that uh, the NF link is uh, have uh, the designated light. It should be uh, blinking or it should be 
uh, the light should be there. So meaning to say that uh, it is communicating. So let's read uh, the AVR. So once you read the uh, VR, so it should be like this. Really. So you can see uh, the connections over here. So let's uh, change the configurations. First, we need to save uh, this uh, um, configurations first, the original one. So once you take the file already, you are going to save it, save us, so you can uh, change uh, the name of the uh, configurations <laughs> so we are done uh, doing the configurations and now we are uh, writing the configurations and uh, once we're done uh, we are going to uh, prepare for the uh, power cabling it's broke.
the load Yellow, how about this one? Is blue? The last one, Jan. No, that one is earth. This one, this one, this one. Yeah, this one. Blue. Yeah, it's wrong. Uh, we found out that the connections uh, here is uh, red, yellow, blue. At the end is wrong color coding. So it is uh, wrong. So here, bro, it's correct this color, but the know. end uh, color yeah, yeah, due to the breaker is wrong. Yeah. We were going to call the people. So let's start, guys, uh, which uh, our unfinished uh, work yesterday. And. Uh, properly so now I think we're ready because yesterday we have some issues uh, they are by mistake uh, installing the uh, in commerce for the breaker which is uh, wrong connections that's why we stop it and we rewire it again uh, yesterday and then after that because that one is already late time so we have no time to test again so this morning we're going to test back and put 100% load and double check what are those uh, if any errors may appear on the tests so let's start so it is not starting uh, it's just only cranking I will check it there what are this problem
there, there's some warning.
now we will double check we put the load we will monitor what are the reason why it is um, uh, connect the USB 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 so um, let's uh, check everything why it is uh, shutting down Nag-200 ano siya. Uh, I-double check ko yung configuration ng EBR. Kasi wala akong, inano ko lang yung potentiometer eh. Ha? Nag-upgrade tayo dyan. Hindi. Yan pa rin ang EBR niya. O yan pa rin. Okay. So, ang in inano ko lang, is potentiometer lang yung inano ko. Binago ko doon. Okay, yung, yung ano, yung, tawag dito, Ibr yan, walang ibang oh, walang walang ibang ano, kasi normal eh. <coughs> Yala mo naman tuli dito libre yan. Yala mo na natin. Alam ko ako kung ito'y mag okay, kopyahin mo kasi yung kasunod Ganun. parehas ng Ibr, inupgrade natin ng digital Ibr. Ako na. Kung pagkakwa isip mo na lang to. So Ibr yan. Config the AVR because uh, we are uh, thinking that the AVR uh, configuration is a problem. We start again, 100% load, and we are checking to the system what are the pieces why it is uh, shutting down. So I'll go outside so we can see.
run for a while. So 